Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, so in this session, I would like to share on the topic of product commercialization and the subject information entrepreneurship. So this this slide is prepared by Dr. Shamila Muhammad Shidan and Mrs. Aslinda Hussain. So without further ado, let's move to the outline presentation for this topic. As you can see here, there are seven outlines that will be discussed on the next slide. First is the business enterprise. Second is information as economic good. Third is economic roles of information. Fourth is the information industry. Fifth, the entrepreneurial leadership. Six, the management of innovation and creating competitive advantage. And last is product commercialization. The commercialization or commercialization is the process of introducing a new product or production method into commerce and making it available on the marketplace. The term often connects especially entry into the mass market as opposed to the entry into earlier niche markets. But it also includes a move from the laboratory into even limited commerce. The marketing mix is made up from the key ingredients is required to make a good or service successful. By knowing the four piece principle which are product, price, promotion, and place. The product is refers to the good or service that company or firm sells and its features such as design, function, colors, size, and etc. The product differentiation is by making products stand out from rivals products helps firm to compete by one another. A good, product, a good product is at the heart of successful marketing mix. Without it, sales will eventually fall. So these are the seven steps to commercialize your product. First is by doing research. DOE funded scientists at national lab and universities to make scientific discovery with potential commercial value. Second step is disclosure and IP protection. The scientist has to inform the lab technology transfer office about the invention. Next is licensing. Once the patenting process has begun, interested company can license DOE help invention. Fourth is integration and collaboration. The company often working with DOE supports, integrates and discovery into a potential product. Fifth is testing and validation. The new prototype is being tested and the commercial value of the discovery is confirmed. Sixth is product development. The tested prototype is turned into a commercial product. And last is by doing manufacture and deployment. The new product is mass produced, brought into market and sold to the consumer. These are the new product development phases. First is idea generation. Phase two is product concept development and screening. Phase three on the Marketing strategy development, phase 4, business analysis, phase 5, technical development, 6 is test marketing, and 7 is commercialization. And let's move to the phase 6 and on test marketing. The complete marketing plan is, a test, is tested in a small geographic area similar to the larger market. market. Phase 7 is on commercialization. The new product is launched into the market and full-scale production, distribution, advertising and sales promotion are begun.
Next is, what is marketing? Marketing management is the art and science of choosing target markets and getting, keeping and growing customers through creating, delivering and communicating superior customer value. Marketing is a societal process by which individuals and groups obtain what they need and want through creating, offering and freely exchanging products or services of value with others. Now there are seven parts in making a successful marketing plan. First is to define what your business is and what it does. Go into detail about what makes your business unique from it competition and define, write down your mission and goals, strengths and weaknesses. Do the SWOT analysis. Second is to describe your product or services. What are the benefits of it and what problem does it solve for your customer? Third is to define your target audience and all potential customers. Who are they? Where are they? And what are their characteristics? Fourth is to go in depth into the four pieces of your product and service. What position does it have? What promotion? What place? And its price. Fifth is what is your offer or message to your potential customers? What are you trying to say and what are you trying to get them to do? Next is what is your communication medium? Are you using radio, ads, billboards, websites, social media for a traditional t-shirt? And last is how are you going to convert and turn those potential customers into sales? Once you have your marketing plan, make sure to update it and change it, change it to make it better and adapt to the changing world. Don't make it too complicated, but take the time to make it good and it will definitely pay off in the future. The commercialization process of a product will only take place if the following three questions can be answered. First, when, where, and who. First is when the company has to decide on the introduction timing. Second is where the company has to decide where to launch its products and to whom the primary target consumer group will have been identified earlier by research and test market marketing. These are the flow flow to to product commercialization, the feasibility, feasibility team and project team. These are before the commercialization. We need to see the conception, proof of concept, integration element and the commercialization potential. Key question to answer is such as, is there a product? Can the product win in this marketplace? Is entry worthy? How will we reach your target customer? How will the customer become aware of our product? How will the customer buy it? And how, we, how will we deliver it? In this slide, it will discuss on the commercialization action plan. First is develop the marketing mix. The marketing mix is a broad concept which includes several aspects of marketing which all inquiry to obtain a similar goal of creating awareness and customer loyalty. The marketing mix is not only an important com concept but a guideline to reference back to when implementing the price promotion product and distribution. Second is to address the seven key pieces, which are consist of product intangible and tangible. Second place. Next is price, promotion, people, process, and physical environment. Here's how the seven pieces of marketing 
can be applied to everything in your marketing mix. First is on the product. It goes without saying that the service or product you are selling should be at the center of every element of the marketing mix. Fundamentally, it allows you to address the question key to sale conversion. What problems or issue does the product solve for customers? Or why is your product is the best one to solve it? The digital mix is perfect for showing case, sorry, for showcasing your product through SEO, blog or article, paid advertising, influencer, marketing and viral video campaign, for example. Second is place, where and how your product is displayed and so should be directly informed by your customer. A deep understanding of their purchasing pattern and targeting them at the right stage in their buying cycle will make it clear where you should promote and sell your product and how that fits into your online and real world marketing mix. Third, it, third is on the price. The strategy behind the pricing of your product needs to be based on what your customer prepared to pay. Costs such as retail markup and manufacturing as well as other considerations. Your marketing mix can include subscription and membership discounting programs or email marketing of promotion and sales. Fourth is on promotion. Successful marketing strategies include all the promotional activities across the marketing mix, including advertising, direct marketing, and in-store promotional activities. The possibilities of digital promotion are limited only by your imagination and can include online events, chats, social media groups and live stream. Next is on the people. Excellence customer service not only converts to sales but can increase your customer base by referrals. Acquiring this referral by people who love your brand can also be a great example of how your marketing efforts can support your sale process. It is important that everyone who represents your brand or deals with customers, including the non-human chatbot variety. They are fully trained sales professionals with an intimate knowledge of your product and how it will improve the lives or solve the problem of your customers. Next is process. The process of delivering your product to the customer should be designed for maximum efficiency and reliability, but may also include features that are in line with your brand, such as being environmentally or success or sustainably focused. With the rise in online shopping, digital partnership and logistics have become an essential part of the marketing mix. Last is the physical environment, your marketing mix must take into consideration all the things your customers see, hears, and sometimes even smell in the relation to your product. This, of course, includes packaging, branding, but should also bring in the ways products are displayed in, store, displayed in stores where they are placed and the context in which they are set as well as digital placement, including your website and social media. When it comes to creating a solid and strategic marketing mix, it is important to understand how the seven pieces of marketing fit into the whole picture. Assemble is a full service marketing agency. Next is on the design, the product pre-launch planning and preparation, product business case development and general business planning, commercial roadmap including launch planning, detailed resources and budget and etc. 
So these are the commercialization blueprint process. This is business design, starting point of commercialization. This is where customer insight leads to need identification and business model. Second is go to market strategy. How do you plan to penetrate market and how do you plan to attract their attention? Next is development. How do you develop the right things quickly and efficiently? How do you find out what works and what wow, wow the customer? And next is, do you have a solid sale process and plan? How do you learn from market response and how do you act? And last is monitor a business management tools to monitor and manage what matters to your business. So this slide is shows that the journey from prototype to market. This route from prototype to market market for a new product can be long and winding asking the asking question during the commercialization pro process can strengthen and shorten the path from concept to customers first hardware and software design second checkpoint is physical design third checkpoint is license and certification so you can see on the right side is question to us for each checkpoint. Next is the core value which consists of four core values. First is customer, second result and orientation, fourth is, third is quality and efficiency and last is diversity and respect. On the customer focus, where we value our customers as the fundamental reason for us to be in business, we act on our customers' term by offering quality products and solutions with the best customer service possible. We look for every opportunity where we can exceed our customers' expectation. On the result orientation, on the result orientation characterize by our people taking ownership, being accountable for what they need to be done and getting the job done despite of obstacles and difficulties. Next is to give commitment to quality and efficiency of the product where we build on our business to deliver this promise at all times. And last is diversity and respect is our lifeblood and governs the, the way we do business and make our company stronger. Our diverse workforce mirrors different, different cultures and viewpoints to, to create a work environment for our people to succeed. We encourage our people to express their thoughts and ideas. We treat each other with dignity. This slide is sh shows the invent market make and sell fees. First, the idea. From the idea, we identify and explore the, mar uh, the market and gather all the requirement. Next is we go to planning. We determine right product, market, and price. Next. We go to design by turning out ideas into product design and prototype to production. Fourth is to build and test. We, we need to test the prototype for form and form, fit and function. After that, we go to sale and production. We need to validate, produce and distribute uh, the, the product to, to get a test. Last is to scale up to integrate supply chain and profitable sales for, our, for the company. So these are the USC Stevens um, process on commercialization product. Uh, by first stage is disclosure. Second is preliminary review. 
next is move to the intellectual property protection fourth is business development next is licensing commercialize commercial development and license income license income these are the technology technology commercialization process which consists of seven steps first is invention disclosure second is searching for prior art third is evaluating the innovation fourth is protecting the innovation fifth is marketing the innovation sixth is uh, licensing the innovation and last is monitoring the progress next we move to the to patent ip or copyright our product all the new product development need to go uh, this phase um, from the idea of generation the idea need to be screened and most uh, by most feasible the most feasible idea selected from the pool of and third is concept development the concept of the product is developed and tested next is business strategy development marketing and others other business strategy are being developed uh, next is product development the product prototype is created and the product is being introduced to the market place for research and feedback uh, next is commercialization uh, on the final briefing and, strat and strategy formulation is done and last is the product is being introduced in the marketplace so next is uh, it will discuss on the typical product or services development process these are the six stage first is the concept or idea business case phase development phase certification validation phase introduction launch and uh, cycle or post launch management phase first cons first stage will discuss on the concept of idea and testing and second stage is on the market size potential opportunity usage and usage needs and requirement target industry structure trends and dynamic fourth is the competitive and competitors assessment on the development stage uh, it will discuss on the purchase criteria and decision making image and awareness optimal features for new products traits of analysis and SWOT analysis on the certification and validation stage we will discuss on the market segmentation image and attitude of the product optimal positioning price research advertising awareness or copy testing and branding research uh, on the introduction or launch phase, the product will value proposition. USP will go and will go under value value proposition. USP testing market or distribution channel readiness and the customer loyalty. And last is post launch review. Uh, we will go through the customer acceptance analysis and ongoing environmental skin. In this slide, we will discuss on the design, product, pre-launch, planning and preparation. There are five stages or process on the uh, pre-launch planning on and preparation. First, in, first is on the planning uh, phase. We need to understand the motor uh, motivation and business drivers and also need to understand the landscape for retail and impact investment and need to explore 
the external partnership. Next is on the product design. We need to validate the investor demand, assessing impact opportunities, determining product structure and gaining approval and gaining approval. And next is pre-launch uh, product. First is we need to coordinating internal processes. Second is to developing a marketing strategy. And last is to develop a sales strategy. On the product launch um, section, we need to issue press release to targeted market and to need to convert events to provide details information. And last is uh, on post launch, uh, we need to have an investor engagement, need to uh, have a community partner engagement and reporting uh, the post launch um, uh, the post launch product. The second last of uh, the commercialization action plan is on budgeting and managing the product launch and post launch launch management. First is the direct sale into strategic buyer and opinion leader. Uh, we need to contracting of contracting of distributors and other commercial partners. We need we also need to do the ongoing management expansion or optim and optimization of the channel. We need to do support marketing activities including conference participation and much and materials. We need to man manage in field support professional education and clinical specialists and we need to oversee customer service warehouse and product import of the of the product. Jay Wilson, the research director of Garnet for Marketers, sees that to succeed with social marketing, you need to be able to articulate your target audience, social network of focus, content strategy, and measurement plan. Next, we move to the marketing in the, this digital age. It shows that 87% of internet users use the search engine and 78 use it to do search for products and services. By 86 of the users stated that using a search engine allowed them to learn something new and important that helped them to increase their knowledge. It also shows that 93% of online experiences begin with a search engine. Next is that e-marketing includes efforts that inform, communicate, promote and sell products and services over the internet. There are three ways or strategy in the digital age by e-business, e-commerce and e-marketing. The e-business is the use of intranet, is intranet, extranet and internet to conduct a company business while e-commerce is buying and selling processed by electronic means and third is e-marketing this effort from company to communicate about promote and sell product and services by electronic and last is Post launch product management. It's all about the managing the performance of our product. This refers to the strategy and tactics of optimize the performance of current product in the market. It is vital to do data collection, analysis, and replanning new marketing mix initiative during the post launch product management. By doing the cross-functional team like the product board of director to make informed relevant business decision. That's all from us. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum and have a good day.